Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I posted a video a while back of a single 49-inch ultra-wide display running at 3840 by 1080. So this is 1080p, um, but it's double the width of a standard 1080p display. So where the 3840 comes from is 1920 times 2. Now I'll tell you a couple of things here. Um, first of all, these monitors are not identical. One has a slightly different curve. One's a Samsung, one's a Dell. Um, but I was able to get together two of these 49 ultra wides to give you an idea what it looked like if you use two for X-Plane. And there's some obvious, you know, downsides with doing this and, and some upsides, I suppose. Um, so one thing that you'll notice right away, obviously, is we have a really wide field of view. You'd also notice right away we do have a bezel right in the middle of the screen, which is not the most desirable thing in the world. Um, also, our frame rate is pretty good here. You know, this is the equivalent of having four 27-inch monitors put together. We're running two views of X-Plane here, both of which, again, are 3840 by 1080. Now, if you pan around the cockpit, this is kind of what you see. We're over New York City. I've got a real fast machine here um, running 4.7 gigahertz and a 2080 graphics card and we're getting about 30 frames per second. This is vanilla X-Plane. We're not running any extra add-ons or whatever, just plain old regular X-Plane. Um, one thing you'll also notice though that our view, I'll go back to the standard view now which is here, is extremely compressed vertically. In other words, we're only getting like the top row of instruments here. So when you go with something really wide like this, when you increase the width, you also compress the vertical. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. Now, the um, one way you can combat that is maybe you elevate these two displays and you put yourself another monitor here running Air Manager down below, but you'd want to raise these a bit. Now, these do go up and down some, but that's as high as they go you'd still probably want it a little bit higher to, to be able to put a touch screen down there. I'll never get this lined back up again correctly. They don't ever quite line up because they're two different brands. So I guess I'll uh, unpause this if that's a thing. And you can see towards the far edges of the screen you do get a slight little bit of distortion in the buildings whether that be the edges towards the very middle of your field of view or the far right or the far left. And, you know, again, the reason I'm posting this is some people requested, hey, what if you put two of these together when I posted the 49 ultra wide? And well, you know, this is what you get. It could work for some people, uh, but probably for most, you know, you'd probably want to try something a little bit different than what we got here. Uh, maybe even a single 49 and another display for your instruments. But there you go. There's what two 49 ultra wides look like flying X-Plane around uh, New York City.